I'm not too sure you guys have seen this, but it is pretty crazy, right? Um, allegedly, Yeezys, Kanye's new shoes. So Kanye hasn't got a deal with Adidas anymore. He's doing stuff by himself now. He's kind of his own man. And unfortunately, it looks like the Yeezy pods haven't been made to um, the greatest quality standards. Now, that's maybe okay because Kanye is doing this on his own. He doesn't have the means of production that Adidas wants able to offer him. So I'm sure making stuff independently, especially off the back of him going on that anti-Semitic world tour, right? That promo run that he did where he was basically professing his love for Hitler and all these sort of things that aren't the greatest things to enamor you or to enamor you to the wider public. I'm sure certain doors have been closed because of that crazy shit he said. So he's having to do stuff like on the sly, on the back end, whatever, behind closed doors, blah, blah, blah. So maybe that might be the reason why. Or maybe it just, it just might be evidence of why most people don't try and make brands like footwear brands because i've always wondered that like why do we have so many people out here that make clothing brands um that make like accessories brand we don't really have people that start their own independent footwear brands everyone's always running to a collaboration with nike everyone always wants to fucking collaborate with fucking um what's it called collaborate with adidas and shit but no one really wants to make their own shoes from the ground up but i guess you know it's just hard to do i'd imagine especially with the production the manufacturing the costs are probably obscene to make your own shoe from scratch so um in this post somebody on instagram shared a picture of themselves wearing a pair of yeezy pods which is kanye's new sneaker which is basically a sock shoe um which is really minimal um it basically has you know one piece construction with a sock on the upper and then it also has these kind of really nice rubbery kind of outsole bits right it's kind of minimal it kind of reminds me of like something somebody would have worn maybe back in the day you know um in the you know in japan or something right in the samurai sort of era um i think the main it, the main reason why it's that low is maybe inspired by Kanye's obsession with walking around barefoot i think there is something quite good about walking barefoot because it allows you to strengthen your feet it allows you to be grounded it allows you to import improve the the structure of your feet and how your heel is shaped and shit because i remember when i was quite flat-footed and i had to kind of rebuild my feet from the ground up that it's important to kind of get your feet out of the constraints of shoes and have them to be a bit more free and your toes to wiggle so that's why he made his shoes i'd imagine but it also kind of look really sleek really minimal they're easy to wear they're very versatile blah 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 the funny thing about them is the sizing the sizing of the Yeezy pods is, there's only three sizes. It's size one, size two, size three. And each size has a range. So, you know, maybe there's three size range in between them, right? I'm not really sure how that's meant to work, really. Um, but I'm sure there's a science behind it that makes it work. So I guess if you're maybe like my size, I'm like a UK 10, a US 11. So most likely I'll probably have to get a size three because I'd imagine a size three probably goes from a US 9 all the way to like a US 13 or maybe from a US 10 to a US 13, that kind of free size um, range. This person ordered a pair and the caption says, so this is what it, this is what they mean when they say um, size three fits a size 10 to 13. So this person got, I guess maybe the wrong size. They put their foot in it and number one, there looks like a hole there. So the construction on the upper isn't that great. The fabric probably isn't as dense as it probably needs to be. Maybe the knit or the yarn isn't as close together. And then the other thing, as well as the toe, look how much space he's got at the front. Look at the space. So this person ordered, I think, a pair of shoes based on their kind of shoe size range. But unfortunately, when they tried to put it on, there was so much space here on the front. And obviously, it looks like the sizing isn't the greatest. Well, you know what the funny thing is? Kanye replied to that person in the DMs. Kanye got at that person via the dms and he wasn't happy here's what kanye said directly to this person via the instagram dms he says get a size one don't play with me like that it ain't funny i worked for a year on these and put them out myself jordan wanted to do this with his own brand and nike threatened footlocker to pull all these shoes out of the stores i like how kanye texts how he talks he always includes these little anecdotes whenever kanye is talking he loves an anecdote i did this myself you know, um, Bernard, I know, didn't want me to do this. When I went to put out the leather jogging pants, Bernard, you know what I mean? He, he, he types how he actually talks. I fucking love that, right? And obviously the double spacing, everything's fucking really, really a bit, you know, a bit tapped. But we continue. I love you. He's my fucking guy. And Vultures is coming out today. Vultures today. Vultures today. We continue. Adidas copied all my shit and treated me like shit. Adidas is suing me for $4 billion. Really? Really? And selling my shoes without paying me. They said I misused the marketing fund when I am marketing. <laughs> that is my favorite Kanye line so far this year. 
they said I misused the marketing fund when I am the marketing fund, right? I love that. It kind of reminds me of that. Um, what's that Kanye lyric about the table? Um, when I'm the table, let me see if I can find it. I've got what song that was. Kanye West, when I'm the table. What's that bar? When I, I'm the table. I'm the table. Let's see. Uh, ly uh, lyric. I forgot what tune it was. It was where it says that I'm the table. Yeah, so yeah. Um, how how I ain't bring nothing to the table when I'm the table. You remember that? that oh, the, that's from Easy. Okay, that's from the track Easy with Game. I fucking love that. I fucking love that. Okay, cool. How do I bring nothing to the table when I'm the table? Right. Let me see if I can actually get that lyric. Where is it? Uh, there it is. Let me let me rewrite. Let me just let me see if I can see it. Bear with me two seconds here. Ba 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 ba. What does it say? I think it's somewhere here. Let me see if I can find it on my phone. And I'm gonna read it out to you. My best Kanye impression ever, right? Um, there it is. There, there, there it is. There it is. Don't interrupt just because it's all love. Shoulder shrug. How I ain't bring nothing to the table when I'm the table. I'ma turn up the music way up the neighbors. I'ma get that fuck love talent on my navel. This is how I am in real life, just not on cable. Mr. Narcissist, tell me about my arrogance. No more counseling. I don't negotiate with therapists. Oh, that bar is godly, isn't it? No more counseling. I don't negotiate with therapists. Fuck, that's a bar. That's a bar. God yay, wanna let God in. But tonight, I guess I'll let my pride win. Cousin Dre sent me scriptures, helped me see life better. Nigga, we having the best divorce ever. If we go to court, we'll get we'll go to court together. Matter of fact, pick up your sis. We'll go to courts together. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that bar from Ye? Cousin Dre sent me scriptures. Help me to see life better. Nigga, we having the best divorce ever. If we go to court, we'll go to court together. Matter of fact, pick up your sis. We'll go to courts together. You hear that? Anyway, he continues here, right? That's why they sent me the money in the first place. You have no idea how much work I've put into everything we do. Now, I love Ye. But you can't com complain about the work you put in when somebody tries to order the right size and it turns up like that. I don't really care how much work you put in. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like that defense. Whenever somebody does something creative, it's like, oh, I did this independently. I'm not owned by somebody. I don't, no, it doesn't matter. The moment you put it out for public consumption, the moment you put it out for sale to the public, you are now... Um, Open yourself up to criticism. You are now opening yourself up to the public having something to say about what you do, about the things that you make, having an opinion on it. So if anything, nowadays it's probably harder because nowadays people are comparing the stuff that you make in your bedroom to the shit you get on Amazon, to the shit you buy in a department store. It's unfair, I know, but people are comparing the level of service, the speed of delivery, and the quality. They're comparing it to like big corporations. So you have to kind of you know, meet that or exceed that. It kind of is the name of the game. You can't cry and say, oh, I'm a small brand. I'm, I'm, I'm a pop, blah, 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 blah. So, um, yeah, he said that. But to be fair, I quite like the shoes. I'm not going to lie. I quite like the shoes. Um, I would actually wear them. I'm not going to lie. I like this picture here that features um, the basketballer. What's his name again? Um, Shay something. I forgot his name. I think it's Shay, right? Um, he dresses really well as well. And he's got a pair on. And to be fair, he dresses really well. He's also a supreme athlete. He's also an incredible shape. And even he can't make them look super, super good. You know, they look okay, but they don't look super amazing. And again, he's six foot plus. He's ripped to shit, right? Um, good looking dude. And even he can't make them look super good. So they're kind of a bit of a weird shoe. You have to kind of figure out how they work for you and if they work for you. But they kind of look okay. You know, they kind of look okay. If anything... I wouldn't wear them with the elasticated pants. That's the only thing I wouldn't do. Maybe the elasticated pants, I wouldn't wear them because it looks like he's got, oh no, sorry. It looks like he's got his pants tucked into his sock. Maybe I wouldn't do that. I'd probably wear them with like a, with like a looser fitting pant that just got like a straight hem, no elastic, just to kind of either to be dragging along the floor or to be a little bit high up, like high waters a little bit. But I wouldn't wear this. Do you know what I mean? Or maybe even with shorts, but I wouldn't wear elasticated pants with them. I think it just doesn't look that great. And I don't like the bunching up over here. 
But apart from that, um, the look obviously is standard with the black hoodie. And then you've got also another picture here of them from a pic. I think there's a person from Reddit who posted a picture of them looking down. And, you know, the top, I like how the front of the toe box is obviously really round and you can have your feet kind of splayed out. I don't kind of like how it's bent that way. It's a bit, there's a bit too much curve there. It kind of looks like a telephone here. But I do like the construction of it. I do like how minimal they are. Um, basically, you know, three bits of material. You got the heel, you got the forefoot, and then you got the sock. I love that, right? The production methods, I'm sure, are pretty cheap. Um, once he gets a partner to collaborate with him on these, I'm sure they could probably ramp up production and probably sell these for cheaper. You know that time when Ye was talking about how he wanted his Yeezys to be like $25? I think that was Ye's always one of his goals with Yeezy was to make like really great shoes, really cool looking shoes, but really, um, you know, well priced so everybody had kind of access to really high level design, but like at the fraction of the cost. I think this is one of the options where you can do it because it's got minimal, you know, there's minimal materials. There's not a lot of process involved in kind of constructing them. If you had a, if you had a partner manufacturing wise, he could probably get these down in price heavily they could probably be sold for like peanuts if need be so i love that idea behind them and hopefully we'll see more of them going forward so i don't mind the easy pods maybe they wouldn't work for me maybe i'm not the right person to wear them at the moment but i really like them i'm not gonna lie i really fucking like them i really want a pair of easy pods and i can't wait to get my pair or whatever else he puts out in the future i cannot wait to see what he does